Montville's on the move in the first quarter here at High Point, and it's Graham Jesperson with the quick pass to Sean Manning for the first down at the High Point 24. And the Mustangs score here on third and 11. Watch Jesperson bide his time, and he hits Connor Zach in the middle of the field, and he does the rest from 24 yards out, and Montville has a 7-0 lead with 5.17 to go in the first quarter. High Point's driving, and watch George Clagg bust through, and he runs over a couple of tacklers before picking up 28 yards and a first down as the first quarter comes to an end with Montville holding the 7-0 lead. The Wildcats then end their long scoring drought here as it's George Flagg crashing in from two yards out and this game is tied at seven early in the second quarter. Montville gets the ball back and it's Graham Jesperson with the nice 35 yard run and a first down to the high point 25. And he caps the drive here as he takes it in from six yards out and Montville has a 14-7 lead midway through the second quarter. High Point's determined to stay in this game, and it does thanks to a play like this. Watch George Clagg take it up the middle. He's heading towards the end zone, but Sean Manning catches him at the two-yard line to save the touchdown after the 49-yard game. What a run by Clagg. And then it's Mike Garrows with the two-yard scoring run here, and we are tied at 14 with four minutes left to go in the half. But watch High Point get the ball back here on the fumble recovery. It's Kyle Dyer, and High Point has the ball first and 10 at the Montville 41. High Point faces a third and 11 here, and on the counter sweep, it's Mike Darren getting the corner and 12 yards and a first down at the Montville 21 to keep the drive alive. The Wildcats cap the drive here, it's George Flagg again, he goes in untouched for the two yard score, and High Point has a 2014 lead at the half. Third quarter action, and High Point rides Mike Darren's shoulders on this drive, and watch him take it around the end for the 10 yard touchdown, and High Point has its biggest lead of the season, 27-14, after three quarters of play. Fourth quarter we go, and after a Montville goal line stand, High Point gets the ball back. Watch the great pressure by Kevin Lewis, resulting in the interception by Rich Kincaid and its first and 10 Wildcats. And Kincaid is rewarded with the give here, and watch him rumble his way 37 yards, breaking the tackle, as High Point will go on to post its first win of the season, 33-20 over Montville in American Division High School action at High Point High School. Feels great. I mean, we were working so hard in August and then just kept pushing and pushing for that one W, man. And it was our last home game. We did it for our seniors. We talked about it last night a little bit. You know, um, we've all been working hard, but seniors deserve it. They do, you know, and I think sophomores and juniors stepped up and the seniors played played probably the best game of their, I don't know if their career, but definitely um, definitely this year. I couldn't be prouder of the senior class and, and uh We've had some tough ones, but but they, they they came through today, and we played well too. Seems like your your offense is running a lot better. Is that just a product of, of getting used to the offense throughout the year? Yeah, definitely. I I don't think we do a whole lot, but a lot of what we do is is timing. You know what I mean? So that takes a while. And and early in the year, we you know we we had some injuries, and we had all that stuff, and and now this is a couple weeks now with the same guys in, especially in, in the key parts where the timing's so important and. Uh, you know, they're getting it. They're, 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 I'm proud of them. I'm really proud of them. Clagg ran really, really good tonight. Uh, how good did that feel, you know, seeing him score a couple touchdowns? Oh, man, he, he's gotten better every single week, every week. You know, he came to us a little late, and, and he worked hard, kept working hard, keeps working hard. He's great at practice, you know, and, and he's getting better every week, just like everybody else. What can this one do for next week going to Morris Knowles? How can this one build momentum for next week? Honestly, we are low on confidence, but it boosts up our confidence a lot. So I think we'll stand a really good chance against Morris Knowles. We take it one at a time, so I guess you're right. So I guess next is, is Morris Knowles, and, and we got to have a, a good week of practice. I mean, they're as well coached as, as any team that, that we'll see. You know, as, they're, they're as, as tough as any team that we'll see, and, and uh, we'll, have, we'll certainly have our hands full, but uh, I think we'll be up for the challenge.